So, welcome back to the channel. Um, I decided to come here somewhere quite quiet so I could do some filming for my new whip. Now, some of you probably wanted to know what it is. Uh, it's quite obvious, really. It's a Vectra. And it's the two litre SRI with the red turbo badge. Now, according to what I've uh, been reading up is that apparently this was a BTCC racer, 200 with them were made, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't exactly sure if that was true, so I, I can't really find any information on it. It just seems to be quite sporadic when you try to find some information on these cars. But it does have those funny looking rubber bumper things. And it all so, what exactly have I been up to with this car then, so far? Well, I had to replace the steering rack on it because there was a slight bit of play when you used to move it. Uh, when it even when it was <coughs> when it was uh, stationary, if you did that, you can't hear it now. But when you did that, that slight bit of movement, there would be like a clicking noise. And I checked the the shaft goes all the way down to the steering rack. No play in that. And then. Even when I took the rack off, I couldn't find any play. But it was a nightmare to change that. I did not enjoy changing that at all. So I don't fancy changing it ever again. Not for a while anyway. Maybe uh, if, if it explodes or something. But I mean, I got I got a, um, I actually got a good deal on it. I found it on eBay for, what was it now? About 45 quid. I thought that was pretty good. Where everywhere else, everywhere else was saying it was about 200 quid. So. I definitely didn't want to go and spend too much on it and it's been fine. I went to Devon in it, you, know, you saw it in one of the other videos that was in the background so you know it's been fine. So what else has gone wrong with this car? Well I did put it on the VectraC.com forum and it actually happened a few days ago and I managed to suss out and sort it out which was very handy. So I'll try and undo the bonnet with one hand if I can. E. Right, okay, so, let's see if I can get this to hold up with my head. Now, that bit there, it in. that bit there was actually leaking a little bit because what my plan was was to change the calls because there was a slight misfire which seems to have gone when I've changed it. So, it looks like I was on the right path with that. Now, it still feels a bit flat, but let's go back to the reason why it's changed this. Now this bit here is a very very weird sort of style fitting. It actually has a seal inside the fuel rail and what was happening was that it was leaking just past the union and on that union there's a seal inside the fuel rail and I just assumed there was just one seal. The seal was no good so I had to hunt around for a new one. Uh, well not a new one, but I had to hunt around for a seal which would fit it. And uh, it turned out that it's actually a imperial sized seal, which was <laughs> quite annoying because I didn't realize it was imperial, but I do now. Now, what I did is that there's actually a shoulder in the pipe. And what I was doing was I was trying to put a seal in front of that pipe bit. If you've got one, you know exactly what I mean. And it still wouldn't, it still kept leaking. So I decided, you know what? a seal behind the union so and then I've done it up sorted what I did what I was panicking me a bit as well was that I was worried that I wasn't I needed to get a new pipe called up Vauxhall not available anymore which is a bit of a pain and it doesn't look like they've been available for quite some years so even if it was no good I wouldn't be able to fix it so I had to message a few people on Facebook to see if I could find one um, that didn't go too well, so I may still need another one, but at the moment it seems to be holding, fingers crossed. So, why did I buy this car? Well, for a start, my previous car was a Volkswagen Passat, it was actually my mum's old car, and uh, I'm going to do a little video of it after, this little joke video after this. And um, I, We've had that car for, well, it's been in the family for about 10 years, 
had just shy of 200,000 on it. It was slowly going wrong, and uh, I just couldn't keep keep up with the repairs on it. So I decided it has to go. So I rolled it in, scrapped it. Um, I didn't want anyone else to have it because my mum's car probably we don't understand. But you know, my mum died five years ago, so uh, I didn't really want anyone else to have it. it sounds a bit selfish, but you know. When you have something that's got sentimental value that was your, your your parents or whoever who and that's the last thing you remember them on because it's not much else that is actually hers anymore or was hers should i say so i decided you know what all i'm going to do is roll it on to a weighing scales get rid of it and that's why i bought the vectra now the other issue that i've discovered is potentially uh, that I'm going to have to change the chain on it because if some of you may not know is that when you I check the plugs and there's a slight bit of residue on it which can indicate uh, a lean mixture I mean yeah the, the coils did uh, uh, make it right but occasionally there is a little bit of a bit of a jerking on it I mean it seems to run pretty sweet um, other than you know, the fuel leak uh, uh, yeah so if you want me to show you what I, I do with that. I'm not going to do it yet because I don't think it's too much of an issue but I'm going to do a, uh, a, a cam and crank correlation check with a snap-on unit. So not a lot of people know how to do that but to be honest I wanted to go and do that myself on this one but I couldn't find the cam and crank sensor. To be honest it didn't really look very hard so maybe that might be something to do with it. So I'll, um, I'll, uh, uh, and I did run out of time as well. So I'll maybe one day I might try to just get up on a ramp, have a look to see if I can find these sensors and then plug it all in and show you this window that yeah, they have to be in. If they're in that window, everything's fine. And uh, if it's not, chain job. Now I've, I've put out the feelers to go and see how much chain is uh, with chain guides and uh, I wanted to see if I could get a new oil pump for it because most oil pumps in modern cars are like chocolate. So. I mean, the amount of oil pumps we change from vehicles is unbelievable. And I think you can't buy one for this. I think you have to buy a repair kit. So maybe I might have to do that. Anyway, I will leave it there. And I'll do my little jokey video for my other car. And hope you enjoy it. It is a dedication to uh, my mum's car. Yeah, okay, it's a bit of a joke, but it was... Uh, it was fun to make, it was fun to make, and it was a bit silly. I suppose that uh, you always have to have a silly moment, don't you? Anyway, enjoy. So this is my daily runner, and this is an awful car. I'm about to scrap it. Oh, that was good. Did you take that stuff down the tip? Yeah, obviously. What happened to those cookies my sister gave us? Uh... Whoops. Randomly turns itself on. That diff caused 
that scratch when I couldn't hold it in a weird position. I'll do a reenactment. I thought I'd give a shout out to Ace Hoses because they managed to help me with the seals that I couldn't find for my fuel line. So shout out to them. If you need any uh, hose related issues or hydraulic hose um, problems, they're the guys to come to. They really help you out and they will bend over backwards to help you. So I thought I'd give them a shout out. <laughs> 